me down. Don't they don't bring me down. Yo, what is good lads? We are back today with another squad builder and today I'm gonna to be showing you a 15k slash fitness squad sort of team. It's on a full arm rare team, it costs you about 15k. Disregard some of the prices on here because some of the players I've had for a long time I've been into this video for a long time, but I kind of forgot about his squad and then I noticed it and I was like, oh shit, I've got to do that video. So jumped on, finished off the games I needed to play with him, and let's just say I found out a few nice little unrare players in this team. But it's going to be a full BPL team at that as well. But jumping off in net, we're going to be using Howard, who's funny enough got an inform this week. He cost me 450 coins, but as I said, I've, I've bought his literally about a week after the game come out and some of them I've had in my club since the beginning but yeah Howard extremely good he's um he's got great distribution of the ball as well 83 reflexes 83 diving combined with 80 position and what makes him a pretty decent keeper well probably one of the best on rare keepers you're going to get your hands on he stands at six foot three as well and I say his inform would be pretty decent so if you've got the coins and you want to try him out I'd definitely say give him a go so in my opinion I reckon it'd be fairly fucking decent but uh right back we're going to be using the Manchester United man, and in my opinion, the best right back in the BPL last season. Uh, uh, Zabalat got in team of the season, but I thought Rafa had a banging season. There was one of them games where um, he played like a 50-yard ball to Van Persie to get an assist, and then about five minutes later, he scored some amazing off-the-line clearance. It was just incredible. He's got loads of bangers. Um, he scored about three absolute screamers last year, and... Uh, what else happened? He, he just seems so better defensively, and I feel like he should have been in team this season, in my opinion. At left back, we're using Santom from Newcastle. This guy's really good. He's six foot two. He's really strong on the ball. He's got decent enough passing for when he's getting forward. Decent enough pace at 81. Then he's got 75 dribbling, which ain't too shabby, and 73 defending and heading, which isn't too bad either. And the two centre backs we were using were this Dan and. Uh, Chiriches, but as you see, there was two other centre backs that you could have threw in there as well that wouldn't have done too bad. Chiriche, uh, Distan, sorry, um, medium high work rates, which is wonderful. Six foot four, incredible. He's good in the air, but he seems a bit clumsy on the ball. That's all I can say about him. He seems a bit clumsy. Like sometimes he just does clumsy shit. He done something that um, cost me a goal. He was he was on like the um, 18 yard box and told him to like done the motion from to it back to the keeper, and he completely just fucked it up and then ended up getting scored against. And I just thought, what the fuck, you're like. Six to eight yards away from the keeper, and you could have made a header that far. But you know, shit happens with this game. It's FIFA 14. Everything's just bullshit. This guy's work rates are high, high, low. Chiriches. I don't think I've actually seen him play. I actually, come back. I watched the Tottenham game today, and I think he might have actually been playing. But 82 pace is pretty incredible. But he's, he just, I don't know. There's something about him that just feels meh. I don't know. He's decent. Don't get me wrong. There's just something about him that I don't like. But I don't know what it is. But yeah, I think it might be his work rates. It might be that he's always out of position. But it's just something about him. I can't quite put my finger on it. CDM low, we have um, Fur. Again, you could use Enzonzi and you could use um, Fernandinho from uh, Fernandinho from Man City. But this guy is really tall, six foot two, and he's got great all-round stats. Let's look at them stats: seventy-five pace, seventy-two dribbling, seventy shooting, seventy-five defending, seventy-three passing, and eighty-five heading, which is incredible. But the only bad thing on him is his high, high work rate, which kind of does let him down at some points. But other than that, I really did quite enjoy using him. He's great at just breaking up the play as he's so tall and strong, and he just wins a lot of headers, like great defensive headers. Uh, left mid, probably, I'm going to go out and say one of the, my favourite players on this team. Like Three goals in five games and four assists. That's just fucking nuts, mate. For an rare gold as well, just... Just in the teams I've played, I've come up against the guy that had Messi as well. First time I've played against Messi, and I think I'm about my 200th game in, but this guy just absolutely dicked that team. I think he scored two goals and got two assists in that game, and it was just incredible. The guy's an animal. Like, he's got a beautiful, nice chip goal for me. I'll try and stick it in there. But yeah, he's definitely, definitely really worth his money. He's got a 5-star weak foot as well with some pretty nice stats. Right mid, we used another... Oh, so I had a few... Um, we used Morales, but I was going to use Arnotovic, but I had a lot of good things about Morales, so you could use Arnotovic because I loved this striker card last year, and I don't see why his right mid card wouldn't be that bad, but Morales, I don't know actually, because Morales is an absolute tank, he seems really, really strong on the ball, he's got great pace and dribbling combined, and 75 shooting isn't too shabby either, 79 passing, as you might have done, he used to be a striker last year, so he's got decent shooting from that, and he's also got 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot, which just makes him incredible, really fun to use. At Cam, we used De Bruyne, 
and I had the catalyst card on because this guy was in a different team. The rest of my, um, these players don't have any um, what they called chemistry style cards on him because I'm just going to try a whole team out of basics. Make a cheap team if you can't afford it. Like a 15k team, this will cost you probably a bit cheaper because these players are just cheap as fuck now. They should probably be able to get it for like 10k. But yeah, catalyst card on him. As he don't even know what that does. Passing and pace. Damn, didn't know about that, but. Um, what was I saying? Five star weak foot, four star skills, which is incredible. He's got a decent shot on him. He's got decent dribbling, decent free kick stats, and decent passing, along with 79 shooting. And when you've got 79 shooting on either foot, that just makes for an incredible player. And the strikers in this team were Kone. And if you followed me from last year, Kone was probably my favourite player on FIFA 12. And he scored six goals in five games, along with four assists. He's just incredible. I'm tempted to do a player review on him, so. You might see one coming up, and if you if you don't see one coming up, and you want to see one, just let me know, and I can definitely get that out because I love using this guy, and I could even think about partnering him up with my other favourite player on this game, and you can probably see why if I just look at that record. Just ah, uh, him them two together, I might just have to do the squad. Let me know if you want to see that as well. And the second striker we're using is going to be Iago. Iago, this Liverpool Spanish striker. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. I know I can, but for some reason it don't want to come out. He's got three star weak foot and four star skills. High high work rates kind of does let him down, and he's not the greatest of players for me. But he's got a decent finish. He's got a really crucial goal against uh, in that game that I said about Messi that got us back on level terms. And Messi's a fucking animal. He was fucking destroying me. I think I went three 0 down, but ended up winning four three. And this guy scored uh, one of the goals in that, but. Uh, his shooting's pretty decent and his dribbling, but he just never seems to be in the right place at the right time. That high, high work rate really does hinder him. But that's going to be the squad, lads. A nice, cheap squad makes a change on this channel. Uh, not saying I make the most ridiculous squads like some of the ones you see out here on YouTube, but normally they're quite expensive. But yeah, if you have indeed enjoyed this video, please do drop a like because it helps me out a lot. And if you're new around here and you like what you see, please do drop a sub. And I'll catch you all later. Safe.